Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you some tweets that Weds has made on President Donald Trump. And they do lead me to believe that he has actual disdain for him. One of the questions I will get on this video is why should I care? Why do you care? And isn't this just adding more drama? To that, I would say yes, but there is a point. The point of this channel is to show you that people who say that they are better than you, either because they have more subscribers or more followers, like Tolarian has said in the past, actually are just human beings. And no matter how well scripted their videos are, when they make a video once every two months, it's really easy to deceive people in believing that that content creator is a good human being when in fact that may not be the case so let's see weds also here is the obvious okay so why would we focus on twitter so let me address that right now on twitter people it's very low cost i mean it's not much effort i guess it's low effort so people are more likely to be who they actually are on twitter than on youtube when every video is scripted so well that you know it's not real. It's not real. A lot of things that you see in the magic community is not real. And there are objectives, uh, mainly to get more donations, that push content a certain way. All right, the mana source. I will say though, Trump needs his Twitter taken away. Dude shouldn't be able to threaten nuclear capable nations in the middle of the night from an app on his phone. Okay, freedom of uh, speech, right? For someone who is running the country that is a leader in freedom of speech. Hmm. It, the point isn't so much that the man of source doesn't like Trump as it is to look at his philosophy and the fact that the man of source presents himself as a humble and if not nice individual when he's tweeting Donald Trump, get impeached, ass, hat. This can't really be real. And so that's Kim Kardashian in the real Donald Trump. Neither of them respond to a random person in the Mads community. Uh, they do exist, you imbecile, uh, this time at Donald Trump and the New York Times. So is this someone in our community that we would say is a nice person? Is this someone in a community that is kind-hearted, a giant teddy bear? No, I would say this person is actually very aggressive and call, name calls all the time, has a history of name calling, and actually attacks other content creators, right? If he's attacking Donald Trump like this, what if a content creator supports Donald Trump? Would he say bad things about them? The answer is yes. You're the president of the United States of America. You act like someone insulted you on their MySpace page. What are you 12? Uh, this is all from this year, of course. Uh, don't you have anything else to do? Like literally anything else? Hot fire. This is how um, a lovable individual with a Hall of Fame vote acts and behaves to an anonymous person that he sees in the news. How do you think he's going to act and behave in front of you, random fan? Do you think he's going to send you a signed card right away? Or do you think he'll just lie to you for seven months collecting your $10 a month donation and then refunding you $10 at the last month? So the whole point is I want to expose uh, some, of the, some of the bad things and the bad people in our community. I'm not saying Wedge is a bad person, but I'm saying that Wedge presents himself as, as a very different person than he actually is. And how do I know who Wedge actually is? Uh, because I talked to him before he became, quote, a big YouTuber, before he was sponsored off like crazy by... Uh, what is he sponsored now? Card Kingdom. He used to be sponsored by TCG Player. And then before that, Puker Trade and the Monthly Magic. I, I don't know. I get confused. Scam after scam after scam, right? Um, oh, he's sponsored by Channel Fireball recently uh, to go to GPs. 
where it's his face on those advertisements. And trust me, for Channel Fireball to do that, he is getting paid. Equating the punishment of the DCI or WC. So again, he says he doesn't bring politics and magic together, but in a tweet, we see that this is not true. In one tweet, he criticized he wants Donald Trump to go on a golf tour. And then the second tweet, he says, how many golf trips do you think it's going to take to finish making America great? And this is a hypocrite, right? So in one tweet, he's asking Donald Trump to go to more golf trips because that would theoretically prevent him from uh, doing bad things in office. And then in a second follow-up tweet, he's saying that Donald Trump is lazy because he goes on so many golf trips. And this is the rationale. Like th I want you guys to see the truth about some of these lovely community members that I've known for a long time. I've known that there are skeletons and I know how to find them. But I've largely kept quiet because a lot of it is personal in nature. Uh, politics is obviously something you don't want to bring on your channel even if you are neutral. Um, here we have Wedge talking about Donald Trump's tax returns. Huh. I mean, that's an interesting topic, isn't it, Wedge? With all those donations and charities, and it's quite interesting, right? Very medical bills, perhaps. Patreon money. Hmm. I'm a man who plays magic, so not against that. Don't call care about shit posters. I never asked Twitter to ban them. Uh huh. When have we seen a post where Wedge asks is upset at Twitter promoting, as he calls it, hate groups? I think I've seen that recently from my channel. I don't want to censor Trump supporters. I think they're dumb. If they can say whatever which they can, I can too. I think they are dumb. Okay, so... Let me put it this way. If half the Magic fans are more lean, they, they like Trump, let's assume this is an assumption, or not even half, let's say, yeah, let's just say half. Then he just called half of them dumb. And this is really, really kind of crazy uh, that he keeps putting real Donald Trump. And why is he doing this? So let me ask you a question. Why do you think, do you think Wedge is so dumb as he calls it that he doesn't understand what he's doing no he has a very clear understanding of what's happening this is a guy who had a whiteboard of all the youtubers no matter how big they are in magic and the subscriber numbers the reason he's doing this is to get likes and on the off chance that donald trump actually retweets or responds to him he becomes a folk hero in a magic community he gets uh, a boost in popularity. He gets a boost in donations, which is always nice. And that comes along with the boost in popularity. And that is why he's doing it. He's making, uh, he's making statements that do not make sense when you put them next to each other. Uh, he's making statements that are passive aggressive. And the point is to get likes. To get likes. Why make a top 5 video. Or top 10 video. Because it's very easy to keyword the video. And it's very easy to get likes on that video. And that video will get searches. Now does that mean the person making the video. Is a bad person all the time. No. But in this case. Taxes are the least of our problems. If anything. They are a distraction from real issues hurting people. This is a guy who has been incredibly opinionated about Donald Trump, which is political in nature, and yet he repeats on Twitter all the time that his channel is not political, not political, not political. He does this because he wants people who like Donald Trump to donate him money. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You're not Marie Antoinette. 
Maybe, I don't know, maybe you are. Um, so this explains some of his uh, leanings when it deals with um, gender, it deals with equality. Uh, it, it's pretty interesting when you break down his evolution to where he is today. And it is a path of irresponsibility. It's a path of contradictions. And it is this attack, attack, attack. If he's going to treat a random person online who's never talked to him, who he has never talked to, who he has zero interaction with, like has... Wedge gone to meet Donald Trump? Has he ever talked about them? Has he done research about him? Probably not. Has, has Did he even vote in the election? I would guess no, because voting takes time. It means you stand in the line. And I haven't seen a sticker from Wedge. I'm, Wedge is one of those people who vote just to get the stickers. And he'll take multiple stickers, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I know you guys have friends. I went to NYU, and during Obama was really big. And, you know, I had a friend who had multiple stickers, and they were selling stickers on Craigslist, the I Voted stickers on Craigslist, and they made a ton of money. But no one, like, you got to vote. I mean, people died for your right to vote, and now, because you didn't vote, you're going to complain all the time. It would not surprise me if he was one of those people. Because, I mean, if he voted, wouldn't he have, like, he would post that picture of him with that in that sticker, like, a million times, and I can't find that. Uh, maybe I'm just not as good as Twitter searches as other people, though. So, uh, my point is, you can love the content, but do not worship the content creator for something that he's not, even if he's trying really hard to present to you as a clean, happy-go-lucky individual. Very spiteful. Bye, guys.